New home sales fell to a four-month low in July, adding to worries about the housing market's recovery. I'm Tanya Rivero, and this is What's News. Missing analysts' estimates, the sales pace for new single-family homes declined 2.4 percent in July to a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 412,000, according to the U.S. Commerce Department. With drops in three of four U.S. regions, only the South, the country's largest market for new home sales, saw faster sales in July. But despite the release of disappointing housing news, U.S. stocks maintained gains. Thousands packed a Baptist church in St. Louis, Missouri Monday to remember Michael Brown, whose shooting by a police officer sparked days of protests. The mood at the nationally televised funeral was more celebratory than somber, however, in the Baptist tradition of a home-going service. Mr. Brown's family members spoke of their anger over his death and called for more participation in the political process. Also in attendance, the Reverends Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton, Senator Claire McCaskill and Representative Maxine Waters, as well as several Obama administration officials. The U.S. Open kicks off Monday and fans arriving at New York's Arthur Ashe Stadium are seeing the beginnings of a $500 million remodel that will finally feature more open space. But for now, fans are focused on the action on the court, with many tennis watchers saying this one could be wide open, with Rafael Nadal out with an injury and Novak Djokovic's post-Wimbledon win matches looking spotty. Many say this U.S. Open could be a comeback for Roger Federer. And that's What's News. I'm Tanya Rivero. For more on these stories, go to WSJ Live or WSJ.com.